Hello everybody, it is day 11. I had a different idea for what I was going to do today, but I was at training yesterday and a long time friend of mine who I've known since secondary school gave me a suggestion for a video to do. So he suggested that I do an A to Z of linchpin. Going through the alphabet, using each letter to find a word that describes me. So this is the A to Z of linchpin. A. A is a very special letter to me because it's the first letter of my name. So for any of you who's making up a little linchpin trivia, but also um, without sounding like an absolute basic white girl, A is for animals. Um, when I was a child, my parents ran a, a voluntary animal sanctuary and we always had dogs and cats and everything, all sorts of different kinds of pets when I was growing up. We had horses, we had goats. I mean, at one point we had like 14 cats and 10 dogs and three horses and you get the drill. It, it was a menagerie. B is for baking. My primary hobby is baking. Uh, I love my kitchen. I love living in it. And I bake everything from biscuits to cakes to all kinds of stuff. In fact, for the past five years, I've been running a baking blog called Sweetie Pie Bake Stuff. C is for chocolate. From the ages of <clears throat> about 5 to 21, 5, 6-ish to 21, I couldn't touch chocolate. Couldn't touch it. It made me really, really sick. Uh, it gave me migraines. <clears throat> and at one point it was so bad that even breathing in um, cocoa powder or a hot chocolate powder or anything like that would give me a headache. Until my early 20s where one day I was just like, I'll give this a go. And... Um, it, I wasn't allergic to it anymore for some reason, so now I've been making it for lost time ever since. D is for drama. Now, not drama as in like, you know, tabloid drama or that sort of stuff. I've always had a really keen interest in acting, um, and I was one of the original members of the Clare Youth Theatre that was founded back in 2004. 2004. I was like, when was that founded? Yeah, 2004. Um, instead of in the Glore Theatre in Ennis, I was one of the original. Um, I think there was 12 of us to start with. E. <laughs> I had a few different things for E, but this one is... English? I have a very English-sounding accent, but I was raised in Ireland um, for my pretty much my entire life. The last time I lived in, in England, I was four years old. But... I was home educated. I didn't go to full time school until I was 15 ish. I'd had a few little trips in and out before that, but the last time, like the first time I went properly to school, was when I was 15. So I spent all of my life up to that point living in a house full of people with English accents. F is for film. Film is very important to me, um, obviously, having done a master's in it. I remember going to see. Um, I remember the early noughties was like a, a big time for sort of CGI epics like um, The Lord of the Rings, Chronicles of Narnia. Looking back on them now, I think they're mostly terrible, but at the time I was, you know, a teenager, I thought it was the best thing ever, and I was like, I want to make movies, I want to be involved in film, that's what I want to do. And that is how I got involved in the drama club, going back to an earlier point. G is for Gwilka. Erinoig um is fader on Gwelga Lower Tamarsha. Ach Nurvi me ni soiga. Um vi me ima Gwelgor Bjugnachliva. Ach Nurvog me gukahar limni. Ah, Kail me makai don Gwelga. Mar Neil Alondini aun sagahar in an Gwelga Lars. Agus mar shin ni ni reva alon shansagamza. Hun Gwelga a chachta. H is for. Halloween! I love Halloween. I, I, I use Halloween as an opportunity to buy all of my decorations for the house all year round. I is for the internet. During my masters I did a module in digital film, uh, digital media and culture and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I've always had a deep, deep fascination with internet culture, like the internet as its own thing. And so I spend an inordinate amount of time on the internet. J is for Jesus. I know it sounds really corny, but I am a practicing Christian. I've been a, an active member of kind of church leadership um, since I was a teenager. Uh, before I went to university, 
I was employed by the Methodist Church as a youth worker and a community outreach worker. And when I was in college the first time around, when I was doing my undergrad, I was the president of the Christian Union. So it, Christianity is really important to me. I also have a Christian tattoo. K is for kitchen. As I mentioned earlier, I love my kitchen. I love being in my kitchen. And it really annoys me when the kitchen's a mess because <laughs> it's the most important room in the house to me. Um, I love not just baking, but I like actual cooking of food. Um, I just like experimenting with all different kinds of uh, cuisines from lots of different cultures. Also in K, I want to put kettle. And um, I know in America, tea kettles aren't really a big thing, um, but here in Ireland, every household has a kettle and nearly every Irish person drinks tea. I love tea. As you can see, I'm drinking a pint of tea at the moment in a very nice Franciscan well mug. I love tea. L is for languages. Like, you know, if I if I had if I could live forever, if I could live forever, my main goal would be to learn every language. Obviously, that as if I were living forever, every language would change. You'd get new languages every couple of hundred years. And so I have an almost 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 fluent grasp of Irish. Again, it's very it's died a little bit in recent years. Um, I have a kind of conversational level of French and a very basic level of German. I could ask where's the train station and my name is, where is, that kind of stuff in German. But another one of my big go-to languages to learn is Polish. I really want to learn how to speak Polish properly because in Ireland, over half of the migrant community in this country is Polish. Um, they represent a massive part of the Irish population. M is for arguably the most important thing in my life, which is music. I've been brought up in a house full of musicians. My dad is a bass guitarist, guitarist, part-time saxophonist. My mother was a trained opera singer. My oldest brother is a feckin' musical virtuoso genius. Every instrument he touches turns to gold. My, <laughs> my other brother um, is a drummer. He is the one in the household who owns the drumming thing, that's his thing. And then my sister is a singer and I am a bass guitarist, a part-time electric guitarist and a singer. Song to me is, it's just part of who I am. If, if I didn't, if I couldn't sing, I'd probably be the most miserable thing on the planet. It's just such an, a huge element of my personality. And I like lots of different kinds of music. I like Mostly I like heavy metal and electronic music. Those are my two big things um, and rock, but I also quite like rap, R&B, elements of pop and that moves me on to N, which I'm going to use to talk about now. That's what I call music albums. I have an almost encyclopedic knowledge of dance music and pop music from the 90s and noughties. Um, like, someone could come to me and go, hey, Anna, that song, which now album is it off? And I'd be like, oh, it's off this one. Because I just know them all. I've listened to them so many times. I think if I were to go mastermind, my specialist subject would probably be um, electronic music from the, the 90s and noughties. O is for the ocean. I was brought up in, in West Clare, um, very near to Spanish Point, which is a beach, an Atlantic beach. If I feel like I need to sort of chill out or bring myself back to a baseline, I'll find a way to get to the ocean. And P is for piercings, obviously. I wasn't going to leave this one out. I have um, I have been pierced 17 times, um, but I only wear 13 of them um, at any one time. Q. I'm just going to put what Q is for up on the screen, and I don't think it needs to be any more explained than that. Um, I'll do another video on it at another time. R is for rice. I know it's a silly one, but if rice were the only thing I could eat, I, I'd be completely content with that. S is for style. Um, I love clothing. You wouldn't really get that impression from these videos, because I'm always dressed kind of casually in these videos, but that's because I do them at home. Um, but I love anything that's kind of dark and alternative. But I also like... Um, things that are kind of wacky and experimental as well. T is for Taekwondo. It is the martial art that I practice. I'm nearly a black belt. I have my exam in May and um, I'm really worried about it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine, but I'm very worried about it. Um, 
but I've been doing it for six years and I don't think I'll ever not do it. I think I'll do it forever. T is also for travel. I'm not as well traveled as I would like to be. Um, traveling is expensive and I've only been to Europe, but this year Silverbolt and I are planning a trip to Thailand. Now he's been twice, but I've never been. And um, so it's going to be really exciting. U is a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of a douchey one. I put in unity because I couldn't think of anything else. I thought of university, but I've, I've already explained that several times. I thought unity would be a good one because um, when I worked for the church, um, I was involved in a human rights organisation and I was a, a representative of Limerick City and indeed Ireland in this particular European project. I, I was on the panel with other European representatives talking about intercultural integration and how to make cities more inclusive. V is for villains. I love villains. And if I were to be in a film, I'd probably be a villain. I, I like the idea of musical theatre. And if, if I ever were to, you know, be a, a musical actress, like my goal role is to be Judas in Jesus Christ Superstar. W is for wine. I don't think that needs more explaining, but it has to be read. X, this one's a bit of a stretch, X is for Christmas. I love Christmas. I used to hate Christmas when I was a teenager because it was all dark and gothic and Christmas was for, you know, lame normies. But <clears throat> as an adult now, I really like Christmas. Y is a funny one. It's not many things that begin with Y that describe me, but I'm going to go with youthful. People don't often think that I'm as old as I am, and this means that I get frequently ID'd for drink. <laughs> Z again, this is a silly one. This is a silly one because I couldn't think of anything beginning with Z. But zesty. Apparently, I've been described by people as being, you know, vibrant and full of life and bubbly, and another word for this is zesty. So there you go. That's my A to Z of Lynchpin. Um, if you liked this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, um, my name is at Lynchpin IRL. And until I see you tomorrow, take care.